Hello, I'm your Bronco Assessor, Damian Lara. And as you've probably noticed, interest rates have fluctuated dramatically over the last couple of years. So I want to share with you some valuable tips from the Office of the County Assessor, specifically aimed at the new homeowner. Joining me today is appraiser John Luna. John, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thanks for having me. So one of the biggest questions that we get from a new or potential new homeowner is not what is the value of the property, but what am I going to have to pay in property taxes? How does a new homeowner go about calculating their property taxes? When purchasing a home, they should know that there are three types of value. We have market value, which is basically what your home could possibly sell on the open market. We have assessed value, which is value set by Burn Co. for levying taxes. Okay. And we also have our taxable value, which wow. is going to be one third of the assessed value. So these are a lot of numbers under. Can you give us some examples? Perfect. Yes. Yeah. So say your market value is four hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Bernalillo County has you assessed three hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand dollars for your land. Two hundred thousand dollars for your structure your taxable value is going to be $100,000. That's going to be one third of the assessed value. So how do I actually figure out the the tax that I'm going to pay on my tax bill? Uh, One great thing is going to the Bernalillo County website at burnco.gov slash assessor. And you go to our tax estimator and all you got to do is plug in the purchase price and the address of the property and voila, there you go. Thank you so much. And so why is it so important to have that tax levy estimator ahead of time? Well, one thing that people who are purchasing properties really don't understand is that the property taxes are paid in arrears. Okay. So, for instance, if you purchase a home in January or February of 24, you're not going to see an increase of taxes until 2025. Okay. And then you will see an increase for most homeowners because we're on that 3% limitation on increases for residential properties. Yes, yes, that's correct. And just remember that when you do purchase a property and there's a name change, your property value will come up to current and correct. John, all of this is great information. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. And don't forget, if you're a new homeowner and have questions, just reach out. We're here to help. There are a number of ways that you can reach out to us. You can call us directly at 505-222-3700. Or if you go online, you'll see Ace, our chatbot, and he can definitely answer questions too. Visit burnco.gov slash assessor. Or drop by in person at 415 Silver Avenue Southwest in downtown Albuquerque. That's all the time we have for today. I'm your burn co-assessor, Damian Lara, and hopefully we'll see you here next time on Value Added, when we will talk about why you should ask if your potential new home is in a PID or a special assessment district.